guys, today we will be making the popsicle bracelet. Like it looks a little something like this. Or if you do it with a different color like this. So for this approach pause, you'll need two extra of each color just in case you count wrong. You're going to need five blue I mean five black, orange, or brown. You're going to need nine white, and whatever color you want to use for this part, you're going to need 22 of that color. So for each time we're going down, we're going to use doubles. So it helps the popsicle fall, not fall apart. And you go three down. Oh, and you always start from the red arrow going away from you. Then you just put three down. And I am using doubles, as I said a few seconds ago. It's really important that you use doubles or else this whole thing could fall apart. And if you don't use doubles, then it'll look a lot worse. So, once again, I'm doing three down and then two white. And then I'm using, I'm also using doubles for the brown. And I'm going one, two, down, so it'll look like this. And then you put doubles the other way going down to and two and three and then I'm going to put my two white now we're going to start putting the triangles on so you're going to skip this first, these three first pegs right here, and push everything down. And you're going to start on the second triangle like thing. So you're going to put one rubber band there, and then either your hand or your hook take it and put it like that and another blue and then you take it and put it like that same thing here but for this last one you're going to put a white right here and push everything down and then you're going to take these two whites and you're just going to use them as a capping band type thing. So you're going to put it on here. You're going to twist it like an eight and then put the extra loop over here. You're going to do the same thing with this side. You're going to twist it like an eight and put it on here so it'll look something like this and then you do the same thing except brown for this last pe brown peg and then you put the extra loop on here like that and then we start looping for me, it's easier to loop the middle row first, but for beginners, it's easier to do the sides first. So, for this part, you'll need your hook. You need to make sure you follow every step or else this whole thing could fall apart. So, you take, the, you take your hook and act like this triangle, this white triangle, isn't even there. So take your capping band and the triangle band 
and pull them back like so. And then you'll get these two white and stretch them out and over. It should form sort of a teardrop shape like that and push it down. And then once again, you need to pull the triangle band back like this. You need to pull it back and then take these two blue, pull them up and around like so. And then you're just going to continue all the way up this row, pulling the triangle band back and then take the two blues and put them on this peg right here. And once and just keep doing that. Like so. Now when you get here, you don't want to skip any. You just want to take all of these, take them out and over. So the first side row will look something like this right here. And then we do the other side. So flip it like that. And then still, it's the same thing you did here. You take your capping band and ignore the triangle. Just take that with your capping band. Pull that back. And you might want to hold it down just to make sure that it doesn't go, it doesn't slide off because that could wreck it. So you just get the hook in here, hold it, and cap it like that. Now sometimes your hook, if you had the puny one like my hook, then it'll be kind of hard. So you have to sometimes use your hands for your hook. If you have one of those big yellow ones, then you don't really have to. The big yellow ones are a lot better. So you take it like that. Then you just do it all the way up this row. And then same thing, you take this and put it on this peg. And for me, the middle is a lot easier because you don't have to skip any. And you can just take all of the rubber bands, like here. And that's why I like the middle better. But it's easier to do the sides first if you're a beginner. Now, like we did here, you're going to take all of them and not skip any and go like that and loop it onto this one. Now for the middle, you have to pull this capping band back and you do not have to skip any. And I didn't hold my capping band down so that's why I messed up right there. So you take it out and then over like that and it'll still be forming the teardrop shape. Once again, ignore the triangles and you take all of them in this middle row right here you take all of them. You don't have to skip any of the triangles or anything. You just keep that going. Like that. Just keep going up. And up. And And then you need to make sure that you didn't skip any ones that you looped. It should look like this. 
If you skip any of these, then your whole bracelet will most certainly fall apart. Now, here's what you're going to do after that. You're going to slip your hook through all of these rubber bands in this row, and it'll come out the other end. So you put that one rubber band like that on it, and then you hold on to it and take it up through here. So basically, it will go like up through there. And then after that, you can go ahead and pull it off. Sometimes if you have the puny hook like mine, then still it's going to be a little bit hard to do this. So just like that. And then if you catch some other rubber bands on your hook besides that one, it's okay, just take them off. And it will not fall apart. Okay, it's a bit hard for me, so I'm just going to put all these rubber bands on my hook and take it off. And then put that rubber band through them, because that would be easiest for me. And then you just take all the rubber bands off, like so. So just take all of that off, and then you'll have your little popsicle, like that. And if you were like me and you couldn't handle taking it off, you just slide, slip that um, other rubber band through it, and then, you're, and then it won't be as hard. And then you have a popsicle. And if you want to link them together, you would either get a C clip or an S clip. And we'll take that on off. And you would take the C clip and grab these rubber bands right here, this one and this one. And then you would just link them together like that. Now, if you wanted to, you could have space between them, but it fits my wrist better if you just do it with the C clip and not do any space between them. And that is how you make the popsicle. Bye. Have a nice day.